want to begin with those shark attacks along the North Carolina coast. People being warned to stay out of the water this morning. Shark experts say this is so incredibly rare. A series of attacks like this has not happened in the U.S. in decades. ABC's Matt Gutman is in Oak Island, North Carolina with the very latest this morning. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Amy. That's right. This is almost like lightning striking twice in the same place. And there's something terrifying happening here. The fact that these attacks happened in nearly the exact same location and nearly the exact same time and almost happened the exact same way someone's limb was nearly taken off is leading experts to think that maybe this is the same shark that is prowling those waters. This morning, terror in the shallows. They said the head was about that big. Two teens in North Carolina losing limbs and shark attacks in water just waist deep. The first attack at 4.40 p.m. in Oak Island, North Carolina. These images showing a 13-year-old girl helpless after a shark nearly amputated her arm and leg, dragged up to the beach by bystanders working furiously to save her life. The horror displayed on onlookers' faces, struggling to keep her alive. Barely an hour later, just two miles away, a 16-year-old boy also attacked. It just came up and it took his arm. Randy Milligan charged in to help. I tore off my shirt and I tied it around his arm and, and I had, uh, he was screaming, is this real and is this a movie? Both teens airlifted to a nearby hospital, sheriff's boats and helicopters scouring the water looking for those sharks. Both injuries were essentially traumatic amputations. These attacks marking six incidents on the Atlantic coast in just two weeks and the third shark attack in just four days in this one North Carolina county. We have a shark out here in Ocean Isles. Someone just got bit. On Thursday, just 30 miles away, a shark attacking a young girl, taking frisbee-sized bites out of her boogie board. Now, we talked about how rare this is. This is only the second time that multiple attacks have happened in the same place in the past 40 years. And while experts tell us that these sharks have probably moved on, officials here aren't taking any chances. They're advising people to stay out of that water, even though the beaches are technically open.